and welcome to week five of celebrating food and wellness around the globe. This week, we are focusing on North and South America and the Caribbean. The northern countries in this week's region, the United States and Canada, are widely known as the home of the Western diet that has been blamed for, and is likely responsible for, many poor health outcomes, including diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, overweight, obesity, and more. Fast food, processed and sweetened foods, snacks, and marketing aside, there are many excellent native foods in these countries. The traditional diets for all of the Americas were centered on corn and beans and were rounded out with the addition of local vegetables and fruits, wild grains, as well as some meats and seafood when available. The trio of corn, beans, and squash is commonly referred to as the three sisters. These are grown together because this benefits the soil and creates healthier plants, and they are also eaten together because they are a healthy combination of nutrients. Nutritionally, these are slow digesting carbohydrates that promote stable blood sugar and are also high in fiber, nutrients, and low in fat. As we have mentioned, blue zones are areas where people live measurably longer lives. One was identified in South America. It's the Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica. Here, the staples of their diet continue to be the traditional three sisters, beans, corn, and squash. They also focus on the importance of family, hard work, and maintaining a sense of purpose every day. Believe it or not, a blue zone was actually identified in the modern day United States. It is Loma Linda, California, where a community of Seventh-day Adventists have lived since the early 1900s. This community is primarily vegetarian, forbids smoking and drinking alcohol, as well as discourages eating meat, rich foods, caffeine, and even stimulating condiments and spices. Their diets focus on grains, fruits, nuts, and vegetables, along with drinking a good amount of water every day. They also place an emphasis on community, exercise, relaxation, and socializing with family and friends. This week's region is similar to the others in that it covers many miles, a variety of geography and climates, as well as a great diversity of people and cultures. So there are many countries and foods for you to investigate this week. We look forward to learning more with you in the discussions as you explore and prepare the healthy foods of the countries of North and South America and the Caribbean.